everyone, this is Stephanie Hensley again. So today's tutorial is going to be about creating the foot template that your sketches will go on. Please bear with me because I'm trying to do this one-handed while, uh, while filming in the other hand. Okay, so I just want to say in advance that this is for sketching just to get your ideas out. It's not for a technical sketch that you would send to um, a factory or anything like that, but it's, um, it's just definitely to get your ideas out and to make them look as nice as possible. Okay, so um, I suppose a couple of things that you'll want to keep in mind is what height you want to start your shoe at. Um, that's kind of the first thing because that's the first line that you draw is really kind of distinguishing the height of the shoe. Okay, so let's say I wanted a really high crazy shoe. Oh my goodness, it's hard to do this one-handed. Anyway, so this is the bottom of the foot really that you're drawing right now. Okay, so as you can see it's a really tall, it's like a seven inch <laughs> heel, but um, let's say you wanted to do something a bit more um, low, like maybe a th two or three inch heel it would look something more like that okay so you can see that depending on the height it really makes a difference into how how the shape of the foot will look and how the shoe sketch in general will look okay so a good thing to keep in mind as well that I've found out when doing these tutorials it just kind of came naturally to me is that this this part here, it's the ball of the foot to the toe, basically, is about one third of the of the length of this line. So this arch to heel is two thirds. I mean, it doesn't have to be very exact, but just so you can get some kind of idea. Okay. So um, it, I think this also kind of depends on how how you enjoy sketching, what you like your sketches to look like. I tend to prefer mine to be a bit more um, feminine and a little sexy, but not over the top, like a Dolce & Gabbana shoe or something like that. But um, if you like your shoes a bit edgy, like maybe like a Nicholas Kirkwood shoe or something, then you would want to try to be as graphic and just really um, sharp kind of edges. And then if you like start it on your toe, maybe your toe would look like this and then it would just go straight up from there or something. And then your heel would come like this or something like that. So you could really, you could make it however you like, okay? So I just want to show you one that I'm, a foot template I'm working off of right now. Um, it's a sketch that I had done originally, um, but I'm just, I printed this out First I scanned the sketch, then I printed it out, and um, just kind of am using it to trace along, okay? So as you can see, it's a bit softer than something like this. So it's got flowing lines, the heel's high, and then it's just got, it's almost like a, it's a really fat foot, but I think it just kind of adds to the femininity of it because you can tell when you arch your foot really high. That front arch really kind of takes along this shape. This is just exaggerating it a bit. Okay, so it all depends on how you how you want your sketches to look. So just kind of a... I'll just try to sketch something very quickly for you. So this isn't as, of course, as exaggerated of an arch as, as my um, template that I'm working from, but it's just to give you some idea that really anything, you can do anything you want, and it'll, I'm sure it'll look great. And because this heel's so high, you know, a lot of the times your actual heel of your foot kind of really gets bunched up. A great thing about a foot template is that once you've inked this all in and scanned it in and printed it out to work with a number of times, you can change the toe 
depending on if you want a really pointy toe or if you want a square toe. You can make some changes to this, but because you have your template, it's, it will be consistent. That's a benefit to doing something like this, to creating a foot template. I think now it's probably best that we ink this in. So I have one of my Micron markers. If you saw the first tutorial, um, it's a Micron O2. And again, please bear with me. I'm doing this one-handed and trying to look through the camera lens at the same time. But So you just try to follow the lines as smoothly as you can. It's okay to go nice and slow and also don't press down so hard so you leave kind of a here like I'll show you here down here if you if you stop something like that then if you try to continue this line you've got this kind of like ball and crazy wing coming out of it so it's best to just try to here I'll show you it's best to just try to make your line as even and consistent as you can. And then when you're ready to stop the line, like say you can't make this curve in one swoop, then you just stop the line and just kind of drift off from there. Like just bring your pen up. Okay, and then when you're ready to go back in, you just lightly try to connect it. So there's not so much of a, of a stopping. Like see even here it was difficult for me to try to connect it all at once, but... Another thing I like to do is breathe in, hold my breath, and then make one long line. Um, I find that it makes me concentrate a bit more, and it makes the line a bit smoother. Okay. Ugh. And then, you know, I move the paper around to kind of suit whatever I need to do. Okay, so here's our foot template. And I'm not going to I'm not going to ink in this part because if you're doing like a sling back shoe or something, you won't want that stuff there. Okay? So, um then I just take my eraser and I erase all of the pencil lines. That's it. Okay, so what I've just done, um is I've taken my shoe template that I like to use and I've traced it over here a few times just so you can get an idea for how consistent everything can look. 